Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz. Now Meadsy recently did a video on some of the worst tanks in the game. Tanks that will lose you win rate apparently and this one made a showing of the Pershing, the American tier 8 medium tank. And I don't understand why because this is a lovely little tank. Well I think it is. I actually quite enjoy the damn thing. So what is it about this tank that people just don't like? Well, I don't know. And the only thing I can think of is because people play it like a heavy rather than a medium. And it's actually a medium tank. And it's a bloody good medium tank. Okay, it ain't the quickest in the game. But let's have a look at some of its stats. It's got 1500 hit points. It's got pretty decent frontal armour, both on the turret and on the hull. Okay, its sides and its rear are pretty weak. It's got a pretty decent view range, over 300 metres. And it's got pretty good camo profile. It's got pretty decent DPM, just over 2,000. It's got a really nice reload time, just over 6.5 seconds. And it's got, you know, relatively decent DPM. Armor penetration and damage output. I mean, the average penetration is 189 with its normal AP, and its average alpha damage is 225. And it's got just about three and a half second aim time. It's got 10 degrees of gun depression, so it's a good haul down tank. Okay, it does a decent amount of speed. Top speed going forwards, almost 50 kilometers, and it averages out to about 32. So what is it that people don't like about this tank? Why is it that people are really struggling in this tank? I mean, it's got a below 50% win rate, which, which beggars the question, what is it? Because I absolutely think this tank is pretty decent. I think it's a very balanced, well-rounded tier eight medium. And as I said, the only thing that I can think of is that people are just not playing it correctly thinking it is a little bit more juicy and a bit more armoured than it actually is. And they're not playing it like a true medium. And realistically, you play this as a medium, aka a light, what with its view range and its abilities. And when you've got that mindset, this is not a tank you should be frontlining in. No, not in the slightest. I mean, this is a second line support tank at best. If you stick this thing on the front line, then you really are asking for trouble. Although I will show you in the next replay that you can get away with frontlining this tank. Although it ain't gonna be the easiest thing to do. I like this tank and I think people are just misunderstanding it. And I think that's a disservice to the tank itself because when people misplay it and misunderstand it and it brings the win rate down, it actually makes people not like the tank and then they have this automatic feeling that the tank itself is rubbish and therefore avoid it at all costs and it prompts videos like Meads is saying it's one of the worst tanks in the game and it will lose you win rate which is a little bit unfair but he's stating fact and fact is fact is fact so let's try and turn it let's try and get the Pershing back to what it should be back to a bit of glory and the only way you're going to do that is by playing it correctly it really isn't that bad seriously you've just got to sort of play it a little bit differently now i must admit we go on and lose this game and we lose this game not because of anything the pershing did i mean as you can see we've done just under 3000 damage and we'll finish this game with just over 3000 damage so it wasn't the tank that let us down here. In fact, it was the rest of the team. And you'll see in the chat that the guy in the smash is going to give me a hard time. Why? I don't know. Um, on the grounds that he was a smasher and he did, I think, 700 damage. So I don't understand. But, you know, it was the team that let us down. Um, they went the wrong way on Camp Stiller. And they just ended up in a world of pain. And that's what happens. But the tank itself, the Pershing, did not let us down. And as you can see, its gun is pretty decent. It's pretty accurate. It dishes out a fair amount of damage. And you will get bounces. You can see I've bounced over a thousand. Um, we end up surviving the battle, but unfortunately, we lose. I did 3.3k there. Killed two tanks. And as you can see, the smasher. Oh, he did actually a little bit of damage. Bless him. 
So let's have a look at a different style of replay. This time we're on Dead Rail, and it's still a supremacy game. It's a game that I don't generally like, but I have to play it to get uh, these videos. And as you can see already, that poor, poor Comet is in a world of pain. He's, he's far too aggressive, in the wrong position. And I'm allowed to just smack him here with this Pershing, and we'll take him down eventually when I get the gun leveled up. There we go. Now the reason I've put this replay in, we don't do anything spectacular, is I want to show you the ability of the Pershing to bounce. That front armour is pretty trolly. And if you stick it on a good angle, you know, you will get those bounces. Now watch this T28 Defender. He's a big lumbering heavy and he's a great tank, but he's, he's going to put himself in a load of problems here. He's overconfident thinking that his tank is going to be able to give a lot more pain to my tank. And no, he doesn't. In fact, bye bye. The Pershing's gun is pretty nice. It is pretty good. It can really brawl nicely as you've just seen. And we're now going to push onto this panther in a moment. Well, the panther's gone. So we're going to push on to something else <laughs> because we need something to push on. But first we're going to take the base. Once we've taken the base, we're going to, oh, that was a big shot coming in from their TD camping in the ubiquitous TD spot over in that corner. But that's not a problem. So we've done what? 1300 damage. Again, we're not setting the world on fire here. I'm worried about that TD, so I'm just going to try and sort of reset my camera a little bit. Uh, I should have reset it by now. I'm going to park myself not really in the corner because I don't want to. I know there's a TD there. Um, I think it's their WZ, I'm not sure. So I'm going to put shots over. Oh, don't find him. Oh, there he is, look. Um, we're going to put a few more shots in, and this is what I love about this tank. But again, whilst I frontlined it in this game, you can get away in the right position. But the thing about this tank is, you've really got to be a little careful with it. It isn't a super heavy, guys. It's, it's a, a nice, nice medium. And don't frontline it. Stick it as a second line support, use the gun, use its haul down capabilities and that frontal armour and you will find out it is actually a beautiful little tank. Anyway, I've been Fujit. That has been the M26 Pershing. I like the tank. Um, I don't think it's as bad as people are making out. By all means, comment and everything below. And until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. Because you know, that is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.